What's up guys, welcome to your ninth Java tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be talking to you guys about something called assignment and increment operators. Now these are neat little tricks to have when you're working with uh, Java. They're going to save you a bunch of time and help you out with numbers a little bit. So let's go ahead and make two variables. I'll uh, make one called tuna and set that equal to 5 might as well. And, and make another one called bass in case we need it. I don't know if we are but set it equal to 18. Now, what the increment variable does is allows you to add one very quickly to the variable. And you can do this by pressing plus plus and then the name of the variable. So right now, by pressing plus plus tuna, we changed tuna, which was five, to six. Now, let me show you guys just so we can uh, have something. You don't have to take my word for it. Print line and go ahead and put tuna in there. And go ahead and run this baby. And as you can see, what was 5 now equals 6. So that's how you can use plus plus to quickly change a variable's value by adding 1. Now, another thing that you can do is instead of putting it um, in separate, you can throw this right into the um, system print line method. And as you can see, you still get 6. Now, this is called pre incrementing. And what this does is it changes the value of the variable before it uses it but I want to show you guys something else whenever you use post incrementing what this is going to do is it's going to use this variable as 5 and then it's going to change it to 6 so let me go ahead and press OK and as you can see once we do this it gets 5 and not 6 so what this did is it changed the variable but it didn't do it until after it already used it so if we were to print it out again, it would get 6. So let's go ahead and do that. Save me some time by copying this baby. Where you at? Paste. There you are. So now that, here's what's going to happen. This is going to change a variable to 6, but it's not going to do it until after it already outputs it as 5. And now, once it's 6, it's going to show 6 right here. So let me show that. And as you can see, 5, and then it changed it to 6 and then we just output the regular variable and this doesn't only work with uh, addition you can also use this with subtraction uh, by pressing minus minus uh, you can change it by subtracting one and getting four and um, let's see what else there is what else is there um, you can also do something else and this is called an assignment operator so now we can know how to use the increment operator using two plus signs and also using two minus signs to subtract one. You can also use the assignment operator, let me get some space right here, to do it if you want to do more than one. And instead of changing the value of tuna, and say you wanted to add five to tuna, sit, you would put tuna equals tuna plus five. And what this would do is take that number five add 5 to it and give you the value of 10 which I will show you right here 10 now this is a pretty simple way it takes the new variable and sets it equal to the value of the old variable plus the new number but there's an easier way you can do this what you can do instead of tuna equals tuna plus 5 you can do tuna plus equals um, let's get a new number 8 and what this does is take the new variable you want to use tuna and just add 8 to it. So it's a lot easier way than typing all that. So now we should get the number 13 and we do just like that. So that's called, um, I think it's called assignment operator but I'm not exactly sure. It's how you can use plus equals to add this number to the old variable to get brand new variable. And also just like anything else you can use this with subtraction to uh, subtract 8 from it even with multiplication to multiply 8 and if you do this you should get the number 40 and you do so that's how you can use basic um, increment operators to increment 1 very quickly using plus plus and minus minus for subtraction and also assignment operators so you can assign um, a value to a new variable very quickly without having to press tuna equals uh, tuna times a or something like that so those are just some nice little shortcuts that you can use so um get familiar with them because if you do it's going to save you a bunch of time 
And if you don't, then you're going to waste a bunch of time. So uh, thank you guys for watching my Java tutorial. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And again, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.